Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge, and today we've got some things to go over from the Star Trek Online official Twitter feed. So on screen. Yes, Captains, before we get into this video, do us a favor, like it. Also, subscribe here to the YouTube bridge as we're always on the lookout for like-minded Captains who we can share our love, our passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. That said, here we go. So we got probably two or three things to go over here. First things up is a retweet from Star Trek Online. It's actually a giveaway. So we're partnering up with Star Trek Online at Cherry Tree for an amazing giveaway straight from the Star Trek Mirror Universe. Check out this one-of-a-kind Borg Cube Gaming. This is interesting, Captains, because if we remember, if you did the recent episode Fujiwara Effect, we were in the Mirror Universe and we saw Janeway and Leela looking at a Borg Cube. Mind you, that was black with sort of red lights but i think that's a sort of prelude of things to come but if you click on the link it brings you over here the giveaway when a star trek mirror universe board cube gaming pc and more so here is the i i would love to have this just for the sake of the case i really would you imagine if you had i just don't have space here for an actual pc in where i live but i would maybe one day when i do make a board cube because it actually makes sense but the board are company star trek online but this is not the collective that players and fans of trek lore will know no this new threat comes from the mirror universe again i th i think it's just a prelude of things to come this season of stow has hinted that the mirror universe right there borg will feature in upcoming seasons there you go as a threat to celebrate this upcoming unique take on the iconic star trek faction most recently featured in Star Trek Picard, we're teaming with Star Trek Online and Cherry Tree Incorporated to give away another powerful Borg Cube ATX gaming PC. This one, however, is one of a kind Star Trek Online Mirror Universe edition, and it's spectacular. So now I'm thinking about it. You think we're going to be fighting Terran Borg? Like Terrans are going to try to take over the Borg, try to control them, but yet the tables get turned around and they control the Terrans? Ooh, Captains, that could open up. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So we'll just go with this quickly here. So the Borg from the Mirror Universe have only been seen before in the Star Trek role-playing game, a TNG novels, and a Voyager comic, and the Star Trek Online design takes its inspiration from Cherry Tree's white Borg cube. This is the image that we did see. That Borg cube with the red lights there. That's kind of the from what I can remember. Note the Borg's cube's different shade of paneling and red lighting. Star Trek Online Associate Art Director Thomas Marone. Oh yes, I've been a fan of all cool stuff Cherry Tree and has been doing with their Star Trek inspired PCs for a long time and would always Google them anytime I saw one at a Trek convention. Even the white Borg cube PC was imposing and, struck and stuck with me. When it came time to tease a new kind of Borg, ooh, a new kind of Borg. At the end of Star Trek Online's latest episode, I remember the imposing high-tech look of Cherry Tree's white Borg QPC and decided it would be fun to use that as inspiration for Stowe's newest iteration of the classic Star Trek Nemesis. I, okay, my guess right now is they're going to wipe out the Terran and will not wipe them out, but it's going to be Borg. It's going to be Borg that we're going to be fighting here. Terran Borg. Ooh, that's going to be cool. Anyways, Cherry Tree's white version of the Borg Cube ATX inspired Stowe, and now Cherry Tree has crafted the Borg ATX Star Trek Online Mirror Universe Edition to give away to one lucky fan. You'll notice that not only is the handcrafted Borg Cube itself mirrored, but also the stickers within the engravings in the back is as well. Cherry Tree went above and beyond to keep the Mirror Universe theme. Mirror details on this one-of-a-kind collector's item that just show happens to be a gaming PC. And details on how to enter the giveaway is below. Again, Captains, we will link this, but it'll also be in the Star Trek Twitter online feeds. But there it is, kind of a cool, really looking thing there. I love it. Now, you can enter here. 
for this. Now, there's also, so the one grand prize of the winner of the giveaway will receive the following items, one of a kind, of course, hand-built board cube, universe edition, and a Federation Responder bundle. And then I guess there's going to be five second place winners for the Federation Responder bundle there. So again, there's some more pictures there. So there is the specs there. Captains, we will just leave the link here and we won't go over this anymore. But here is the giveaway. You do have, you have 35 ways to enter and you can use all that. Unfortunately, it's only open to legal residents of the USA and I am in Canada. So this does not apply to me, unfortunately, but it might to you and there's your chance. So I thought we'd go over that. Next up here, we have this. Now, I just in case, Captains, what I will do, this is a video here. So today, the 13 years of hard work of incredible artists who pour their souls into Star Trek Online was once again recognized as three of our Starfleet ships were canonized in the first episode of Star Trek Picard Season 3. Of course, Captains, you know how many, many uniforms I changed. So I want to play this just in case I have to take this out due to some sort of copyright. I hope I don't have to. Of course, it will be in the description below, but I'll play it and then we'll react after. I won't say anything, so we'll just play it here quickly. Mm, not gonna lie, I had a smile on my face the whole time I tried to keep it in there. But again, I will have to edit that out just in case there's a copyright, but it shouldn't be Star Trek Online music. But come on, Captains, let's let's just celebrate this. This is just so awesome. We already knew, of course, about the Odyssey. And of course, yesterday we were fanboying over... And this is the new skin. So I, this is not in-game, but man, I cannot wait to get this in-game. The volume down there i cannot wait to get this so right now my my tune there is my engineer is flying this right now but i cannot wait to update it to this or revert it i guess it'd be reverting back to the old skin but it is what it is and then of course we had the trailblazer be canonized as the voyager b how sick and crazy and then oh, i do love the way that they gave Rachel Garrett statue dedication ceremony. Of course, they blew it up right away in the show, but it is what it is. See the artwork there of the Sagan class. <laughs> Just there was so many nuggets here. It was absolutely insane how many nuggets there were. And of course, the pioneer of all ships to really to get canonized, the pioneer class. It's just it's absolutely crazy. And I, I'll, I said it before and I'll say it again. This is an awesome time to be a Star Trek online captain because not only will we have ships from Star Trek Online go into Picard, they will definitely be going into Star Trek Online. So anything that we see there, we can expect in-game for sure. The ways to obtain them, well, we've talked about that and we'll get into that in this video, but we all know captains. And then they even showed the Enterprise there, the Constitution refit, oof, that just, just the feels, just the feels. 
And then I love how they did the intro just for the Odyssey itself here. I can't wait to get this in this game. Yes, yes! Sorry, sorry, a little excited. But there you go, there's that. Again, we will link this video in the description below, Captains, for you to check out and enjoy. So next up here, PC Captains, now is the best time to start a new character in Star Trek Online, especially with the Klingon recruitment happening with the start of your adventure. Now, this sale came like literally after the video that we released yesterday in the morning there for the news, Snow News. So this is still happening now regardless as of this video, but we'll go over it quickly. There's Admiral Janeway there. I always found her model had like these long lanky arms. It didn't, it didn't feel like she's supposed to be that tall. Anyways. The Start Your Adventure Sale. PC captains can save 25% on services, uniforms, personnel, and starter packs this weekend. So, captains, it's a great time to start a new career in the final frontier. That's because the Start of Your Adventure Sale is now live. So, from February 16th, it started yesterday, but this goes until the 20th. You can get a brand new character for 32nd level 65. Knit it out the way you like by saving 25% on everything listed below in the Zen stores or services, uniforms, personnel, and starter packs. Don't wait. It's a perfect time to get everything you need. So there you go, Captain. That will be there. And of course, we'll link it in the description below. You still have time up until the 20th to take advantage of the sale if you would like. Next up here and kind of the last things we'll touch here is that, but... This was just tweeted here Monday morning, bright and early. Master K will be joining AW Vigo on the Alienware Stowe stream. So just be aware of that, Captains. They'll probably do some, some giveaways, possibly. So that is something to look out for. It'll be on Twitch, and that's Monday, 11 a.m. I'm not sure what time zone that is. But again, we will link the Star Trek Online Twitter feeds in the description below so you can track that, Captain. So last thing we'll check out here. The Eagle Terran Raider Star Trek Online. And this was from Hector Ortiz. As we know, Captain's the 13th anniversary bundle dropped. And one of the ships that I thought I wasn't going to get, well, I'm going to be getting. And it is going to be the Eagle Terran Raider. They convinced me, not going to lie. They, they, they got in and convinced me. And I wasn't really too attached to it, but for some reason seeing it and the way that they designed this made this look more cooler and sleeker to me than the original Aquarius. Mind you, it's not that much different. I mean, there is a difference like the nacelles and such, the actual body. But if we think about it too, if I, I was thinking about it, the Aquarius is now canon because it was stuck in the aft of the Odyssey. So definitely then, you know what, might as well complete my Odyssey collection and get me my very first Aquarius slash Eagle because I did not get the tier five version. I wasn't waiting for the tier six version, but this is a happy surprise. And it does sound like it's a fun ship to fly with a kind of interesting sounding tray. And, and if I'm not going to be, if I'm going to be honest, this almost reminds me of like some sort of a bat wing ish esque looking thing. So maybe we can even do a theme build on that or you can captains. But if you look at the top here, I know this kind of screams to me Batman. Anyone else? No, maybe it was because of the trailer that we just saw recently for the Flash. But again, this looks like a fun ship. I love the art here. We're probably going to be using this definitely as the thumbnail art here. But it is again a great looking design. I'm warmed up to it definitely. It was the overall package that got me to convince myself to get it. So there it is. Captains thought we would go over that as well before heading off into the weekend. So we'll start it as wishing you caps a happy, happy Friday and a good weekend. So do us a favor, captains, like the video, comment below. What do you think of the Eagle? Did you actually get the Eagle? Are you gonna get the Eagle? Did you get the bundle or did you not get the bundle? Let us know and also subscribe here to the YouTube bridge and we will leave it on this note. Live long and prosper. Thank you.